<laughs> hey pals, it's Tippy from 2B Toys and I'm with my assistant, M2B. Unfortunately, the beginning of our video got lost, but I'm doing a quick intro just to let you know that we are doing a Funko Pop video and we were nominated by Super Sorrel and Super Sorrel is an awesome channel that does a lot of unboxing. His main tag is he unboxes it so you don't have to. So please check him out. And please enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. Like I was saying, Super Sorrel had nominated me to talk about our Funko Pop collection. I said, you know, I, we really don't have a big collection. We really don't compared to other collectors. The things that we have are really just for M2B to play with. We're actually missing one of our Funkos. We do have Gidget from Secret Life of Pets. And she's not here right now. She is lost in the abyss. But there are questions that I have to answer. And I'm supposed to nominate some other channels. I don't know if the window has closed or whatever. But I would like to nominate um, uh, DX Girly Likes Toys. I really, really like that channel. And, and I wanted to nominate um, EAL Pop. I forgot the whole name of the channel. But I can see her face. And she's so super cute. I know she has a lot of stuff. Also, Findemus who's awesome, an awesome gaming channel. He had posted about a month ago on his blog about these cool pop uh, figures that he had found and he had talked about them on the blog, so maybe he can do a video about it. I don't know, but let's get started. There are a few questions that you have to answer, 10 questions, as Super Sorrel asked me. He was in turn asked by somebody else. And the first question is, what is your favorite Funko Pop from your collection? So let's begin. Yeah. My favorite from our collection, I'm going to talk about mine and then you can talk about yours, M2B, is one that I actually picked up today. In September, um, Labyrinth is celebrating their 30th anniversary, I guess, of the release. I can't quite remember. I was only three years old at that time when it came out. But I have grown to love this movie. Um, I have watched it religiously as a child. David Bowie is and was my favorite singer actor he was fantastic i was so devastated when he passed away but they had a hot topic they had jareth and it was a hot topic exclusive it's number 365 all of these pops are falling number 365 hot topic exclusive i am not taking him out of the box because i do have the other ones coming this one is my favorite even though i just got him he is my absolute favorite i do have some other favorites that i'll talk about i have from Rocky Horror Picture Show, I have Dr. Frankenfooter, but Dr. Frankenfooter is in full um, gear. And I don't want to show that because my channel is family friendly. I'm not quite sure about how, how family uh, parents would like me showing this, but you can use your imagination. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is an amazing play that was put on in London in the 70s. Tim Curry was is also one of my favorites, my favorite actors, um, singers. He's amazing. He performs beautifully. If you see the movie The Worst Witch, he was awesome in that too. And I just love him so much. But he is number 209. As you can see, I'm a big fan of pop movies. I also have Beetlejuice right here. I'll show him off in a second. Let's move on to M2B's favorite. Which one is your favorite pop? Um, Duke. M2B's favorite is Duke. And Duke is from The Secret Life of Pets. I don't have the number of him, but he is from the Funko Pop Movies collection. He's so super cute. He has a little D detail around his black collar. He's so cute. He's very, very, very big. And I like him a lot, too. You know why I like him? Yeah. Because he stands perfectly. All the other ones don't stand. That's why I have all these like as a mishmash. Because no nothing is standing on their own. Second question is, what is your least favorite Funko Pop? I'm sorry, there's no least favorite Funko Pop, but I can tell you a quality that I don't like about Funko Pops. I do love the fact that their heads are really, really huge and super cute, but I don't like the fact they don't stand. Like, I think it's just annoying. They need to stand. They have to be able to stand on their own two feet if you're going to put them up. Look at this. It's going to be like a domino effect of crazy right now. But I'm not even going to bother. That's why it's just a mishmash. Number three, what is your favorite Funko Pop series? Well, obviously, it's movies. We love movies. And we really just like to buy pop um, Funko Pop that are geared towards movies. We have a lot of movies on here. We have Shrek. We have Frozen. What? We only watch Tangled. That's right. And we do have one from Tangled. We have Max. We have the trusty horse. 
he is the royal horse that tries to get back Rapunzel or tries to get Flynn Rider to give back the royal crown that he stole with those two hooligans and he's really really super cute we don't have Rapunzel but we do have Max and he's so cute and he stands up very nicely okay let's see what is your newest Funko Pop you picked up you bought well I do have coming the other labyrinth figures that I did pre-order a few months ago from Amazon which is also why I wanted to save this for that but I obviously can't do it they're already out I saw them at Hot Topic today I was kind of upset about it but the pre-orders pre -orders already out there whatever I'm not even gonna bother canceling it but the most recent one that I have is Jareth number 365 what is your most valuable Funko Pop? I honestly don't even know. I collect them, but I don't collect them to find out how much money they're worth. They're just a novelty to me, and I used to collect a lot of things when I was a kid. I collected a lot of Barbie dolls, a lot of comic books, a lot of collector cards, even Pokemon when they first came out. And I'm sure all those collections are worth some money, but these I don't really watch. What? Even they came out with being pissed on Mansom. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, what is the best Funko Pop you have found at the store? Well, today, like I said, we went to Hot Topic. Totally just walking around, see what they had there. And they had this exclusive Hot Topic, Jareth, who is awesome. My gosh, I love him so much. Okay, what Funko Pop would you use to make a rainbow? Well, that's a really silly question. If you had to use all of the colors, I mean, I would just choose all the ones that I had. Like, I would choose Nemo for the orange, maybe Linus for the red. I mean, I don't know. I can't answer that question. But <laughs> I don't really have green for a Shrek. Maybe for the purple. That's a good idea for Indigo. Okay, we could do that. Oh, and then we have Stitch, another Hot Topic exclusive uh, for the blue. So we got red, orange, blue, purple. What about yellow? We could use Sally because of her hair. I don't know. Whatever. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite Funko Pop exclusive? Okay. Well, I'm sorry, being redundant and repetitive here. The Hot Topic exclusive Jareth from Labyrinth, the 30th anniversary number 365, is my all time favorite. And what is the pop figure you want the most? There is a list of endless pop figures that we want. But the two that we want the most... Are you ready for this M2? But you know what I'm talking about. We want Pinocchio. And we want Jiminy Cricket. Those are the two that we are desperate to get. But they are so expensive. They're like $90 on eBay. I will pay $9.99 on eBay. That's right. I don't want to pay $9.99 on eBay. It's ridiculous. But... <laughs> and um, Falfa and D from my out of the store. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> That'd be so awesome if they had all of Pinocchio. I'm pretty sure they don't. I think they just have Pinocchio and Jiminy. Those are the two I would really, really love. Jiminy is not that expensive. I think he's like 60 to 70, which is still pretty pricey to me for a Funko Pop. But Pinocchio, oh my gosh, I would love to get Pinocchio. My goodness. One of our favorite ones right here is Godzilla, and Godzilla is going to do something fun right now with everybody because I want to show off the ones that are in the box. So, this is Yoda, and he is the Star Wars, obviously. I like him because of his awesome lightsaber and the fact that he's a bobblehead. I don't really like bobbleheads. I tend to keep them in the box because M2B likes to pull them and twist them. He already broke one. We had a mini um, of Captain America. He wasn't a Funko. Maybe he, I think he was a Funko, but he wasn't a Funko Pop. He was a mystery mini. And he pulled his head off within like a second. So I wasn't very happy about that. So I hide him in our cabinet. I like these little Funko Pop mini collections. It came in a set of three. It came with... Harley Quinn, Batman, and it came with the Joker. The Joker, like I said, M2 B keeps his Funko Pops in his toy box. So Joker's probably hiding out in the toy box. I also found these really cute mini Funko Pop from My Little Pony. There's Rainbow Dash. Um, there's this, I don't know her name, I forgot. This is Rainbow Dash, this is some other pony. And there's this like this dragon pony. It's pretty awesome actually. He has two different colored wings, and I like him a lot. He's cute. 
These are the little mini Funko Pop collection. They, they retail for like $15. I don't know. Something like that. I found them on clearance at Target. And I grabbed them. They don't stand up though. We also have this one, which is a Funko Pop Hot Topic exclusive. This is Doug from Up, and he's flocked. He's really, really cute. M2B just got this one recently. His flocking and his fur is, you know, a little ratty. But it is kind of cute. I love him. I love him too. He's so cute. And he even has the translator on so you can understand what he's saying. And he has his little tongue out. That's right. He's, he's licking. I also picked up, because I like to unbox things and open up mystery things, I got these mystery pop, um, these pop mystery keychains. We're going to open them up at the end of the episode. So I think I fulfilled all of the questions here. I dropped them on the floor. Let's talk about Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is number 106, and this is from the newest movie. It's a bobblehead. He is staying in the box. He's from The Force Awakens. I didn't want to take him out, but I will show him to you for the video. Very, very, very carefully. He, he's from Star Wars. That's right. Yeah. Obviously, this is when he is, you know, a recluse, and Ray finds him for those few minutes. What I like about this pop is I'll show you in a second. I don't want to ruin him. He's really cool. See, they did it right. They have the stands. I like the stands. Because they know. They can't stand. <laughs> impossible okay what's cool about this pop obviously because he bobbles bobble 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 but what I love the most is the detail in his right hand and the arm is missing I like that they added that and the paint job on his hair is fantastic it's like phenomenal beautiful beautiful paint job the airbrushing is beautiful the way that they did this oh my gosh you couldn't have done it any better it's even in his beard they did a fantastic job his wrinkles everything it really does look real even the locks of hair in the back um, like I said I'm gonna just use Elsa to cover him I'm only gonna get his face I'm only gonna show his face but this is from the Rocky Horror Picture Show this show turned into a movie it was released by um, Fox um, it is a great, great movie. Susan Sarandon's in it. We've got a lot of great people. Even Meatloaf plays a great role in it. It was originally a British um, film, and Tim Curry reprised his role as uh, Dr. Uh, Frankenstein. Uh, 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 uh. This is number 209. It's pretty awesome. The beautiful paint work. I'm not taking this out of the box. I haven't taken it out of the box in many years. So the beautiful paint job on the lips, the detail on the, on the eyeshadow. The whole set is fantastic. I really, really wish I can get... Susan Zarana's character, Janet, I love her as her wearing her outfit where she, you know, she's just wearing her bra and like, you know, her slip. The movie's fantastic. Even Columbia's awesome. Magenta, Riff Raff, Brad. It's just a great, great collection. Another great movie that's actually coming out. I heard that there's going to be a sequel to Beetlejuice. Winona Ryder even said it. Yes, it's happening. It's Beetlejuice. This is number five of Beetlejuice. I only have Beetlejuice. And I'll collect the entire line of pop movies, super styled, super stylized vinyl figures. They'll dazzle you. But I don't, I haven't seen any other ones. I mean, I haven't collected. I'm not opening him up, but look at him. He is wearing his signature striped suit. He has his silly, crazy smile on and his green hair. I mean, like, he's kind of. He just went Joker. You're right. He is like the Joker. But you know what? Beetlejuice is like. He's not, I don't think he's as bad as the Joker. The Joker's pretty sinister. Beetlejuice, you know, he has some fun about him. But, um, yeah, this is an awesome, awesome figure also. Beetlejuice is fun to play with. Yeah, another cool figure is, this was a Target exclusive. This is Ramon Ramon. We got this a few months ago. We did this for a video for our um, Christmas in July. Actually, it was a couple months ago. Christmas in July video. I saw it. I'm like, oh, it's green. It's Ramon. He's pretty awesome. I take love my, this one. Uh, I'll, I'll take my socks off. <laughs> Alright, I'll take your socks off. Okay. okay. Alright, that's enough now. Okay, and this is Ramon Ramon. I love the detail in the front of his grill. Like, right above, you see his his mustache he looks wonderful. So, this is our collection of pop. I mean, we really don't have much of a collection. Let's open up these 
Funko Hot Topic exclusive Pop Mystery Keychains. And we can get, it's a one in three chance of getting the mystery figure. It's a Spider Gwen, Unhooded, Red Hulk, or Spider Man, Red and Black. And the mystery figure. So let's see. I, I love the mystery Me too. Oh, and we got Red Hulk. That's cool. Awesome. I want the mystery figure. I want mystery Or Spider-Man. I want mystery figure. I'll take the mystery figure or Spider-Man. I want the mystery figure. Oh, I didn't even see who it was. Who is it? <gasps> it's Spider-Man! Yay! Awesome. Well, we didn't get the mystery figure, but we did get what we wanted. We got Spider-Man. And that is super awesome. Like his big white eyes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Never yeah. seen that before. Give me him. No, I will not. Yeah. Well, that's it for now, folks. Um, just check out the links below and give us a thumbs up for this video. And also subscribe to our channel. Check out Super Sorrel. I'm telling you, he is a really, really good source of most up-to-date collectible things that are out right now. I mean, he lives in the UK, but he gets... He lives in the UK, but he gets a lot of things. So I don't know how he does it. I mean, I'm sure, you know, he has some connections here. Even I got, like, stuff from, like, San Diego Comic-Con. He's always out and about doing stuff with his wife or, you know, just even running solo. Um, searching the, the area, scouring for the latest stuff. So... Check them out. Check out the other channels that I mentioned. They're all really awesome channels. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe. We hope you like this video. We hope you give it a thumbs up. Can you say goodbye, M2B? Bye, M2B. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. Hey, pals, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Tubi Toys because when you subscribe to Tubi Toys, you subscribe to fun. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.